The Fed is using this crude oil versus the gold ratio in tracking inflation. The one in white is inflation and the one in yellow is the ratio. We saw that when the inflation peaked at 9% in June 2022, so did this ratio. Although we recently saw a cut in interest rate here, and what we're seeing here is the two 10 years yield, but lately the yield or the interest rate start to move up again. And the goal is also maintaining at its high point. And this makes us wonder will inflation still move towards the 2% target or is it still at risk and raising further? And the Fed, I believe they are tracking this ratio very carefully. My name is Kong Hao. My work in this channel is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into today's subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And this is the long-term chart for the crude oil. And most of us recognize on this divergence that may lead to a higher oil prices. And as we can see when the crude oil went lower, but its selling strength speaks to us otherwise. Therefore, we are watching very closely on this key resistance price at 100 US dollars. Let me just put that up here. And I'm going to squeeze them a little bit here to look at the historical. And we can see very clearly that when the oil price stay above 100 US dollars, it tends to stay above 100 US dollars. When it's under, it tends to stay under and there's a, a short-term force break here. But when it stay above, it tends to stay above. Under, and for the last 10 years, it has stayed under, thankfully. And the concern about crude oil is the resistant at 100 US dollars, if it ever being tested and broke above, then there's always a risk that crude oil may stay above 100 US dollars like this. If it tested, move above, it may tends to stay above. And this may also lead to the ratio of this crude versus gold ratios to start pivot up. And when this happens, the inflation may also start to pivot up as well. And let's take a closer look at the development of the crude oil that we had discussed some weeks ago. And then we suspect that it will continue to range bound in this range. And according to their time and season, it may break either way. And we are seeing a very nice classic triangle here. With the Middle East tension the past weeks, if it ever escalates further, I think the likelihood of breaking this triangle to upside is pretty high. And that's what we're seeing. And it may range down a bit further. Then if the Middle East tension continues, the likelihood may be there. Exactly what we should be looking out for. It is the rate of change of the crude oil. When the upward rate of change of the crude oil is moving faster than the rate of change of the gold, for example, the gold can remain stagnant at this price or the current price, but if the crude oil start breaking above 80 US dollars and moving pretty quickly towards the 90 US dollars mark, then this crude oil versus gold ratio will start to point upwards. And this will not be good news for inflation, but it really depends on how you look at it, deploying the right instrument and strategies there are always opportunities ahead. We cannot perfectly time the market, but it is possible to get the market timing right. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you on what is about to come. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.